Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya coming to you from Virtual Metro Connect 2021. Joining me today is my good friend, Greg Elliott. He is the Vice President of Business Development at 1623 Farnham. Greg, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks, Jamie. Great to see you again. Great to see you. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a little bit. Hope, uh, hope this year and last isn't, uh, isn't uh, too, been too difficult for you, my friend. All, all good, all good, considering. Good. Yeah, considering, right? Uh, so for those of our viewers who are not familiar yet with 1623 Farnham, can you give us a brief overview? Sure, yeah, uh, so 1623 Farnham is the carrier hotel, de facto, de facto carrier hotel for Omaha, and we've been, over the last couple of years, the ownership's been putting about $45 million into the building. Um, so now, um, in addition to being the Carrier Hotel, it'll be a cutting edge data center with new, new power infrastructure, cooling infrastructure. Uh, we have nine floors, eight megawatts of, of uh, capacity, and already has 50 carriers. Um, and so that, that's awesome, and, and coupled with the hyperscaler activity in the area, it's just a, a great spot to be at. Well, you were saying all the right things for our viewers, I'm sure. Um, phenomenal funding and upgrades. We've got carriers, we've got OTTs. Um, so tell us a little bit more about this interconnect ecosystem that you're creating uh, within 1623 Farnham and the surrounding region. Yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, Burke's Group uh, owns the whole building. And so we have control of the facility. We have the building owned uh, carrier neutral meet me room on the third floor, where, you know, that's obviously the heart and soul of, of the building. And so we have 50 plus carriers, and we're continually every day creating a, a more and more fertile ecosystem. Uh, for, for those carriers, for our content providers, for our enterprise customers to have, you know, the more networks they have to connect with, the, the more flexibility it gives to, to our customers. And so we, we do that daily, talking to existing customers, asking them if there's other networks that they want to connect to, what, what it looks like for on the horizon to, to do that. So we're having those conversations, making those physical connections and, and making all that happen. Uh, we also have the Omaha IX, which is, uh, is, is growing at a rapid pace. Uh, we have um, eyeball networks joining, it seems like weekly, and, and content providers uh, joining as well. We have just had a couple that took down um, 100, 100 gig ports. And so we just see growth there. And then we've added a mega port uh, to the facility. Uh, they, they put in a, a redundant configuration, dual router, dual switches, which is a little... Um, don't, they don't do that everywhere, so we're fortunate to have that deployment. And then uh, tell our friends tell you they're they're turning up a new fiber route from Chicago through Des Moines through Omaha through us, and then on to Denver. So just seeing a lot of, of new activity and and uh, new fiber growth, and it's all good. Absolutely exciting news is that robust marketplace you've got going on Omaha IX, um, folks like Megaport and Telia, good folks in general, but. Uh, um, killer networks and capabilities. Um, so um, why Omaha? What is so interesting about the latency scenario you're cooking up there? Yeah, it's, um, you know, simple. Look, it's a good location, location, location. So you look at the map, Omaha is almost right in the center of the U.S., um, good, good spot in North America. And, you know, for years, fiber routes have ran, uh, north, south, east, west, and have come through the building. But then you couple on the the ecosystem or the the growth of the hyperscalers and Council Bluffs and Omaha. Uh, Google um, has one of their main North American data centers close to us, less than a millisecond away, around a millisecond. Facebook's close. Apple's over in Des Moines, and so you have all that activity going on. Um, and so we, we work with our carriers uh, proactively to figure out, you know, look at other data center markets, both in the Midwest, on the coast, um, up in Canada and down south. And, and so we're actively keeping track of those round trip latencies uh, that can be found on our website um, that um, people can check out. So um, if you find, find you, uh, you're a carrier and you have better latencies to different markets, let us know and we can update the table. 
But I got to say, from a personal perspective, we love telling your story. We love promoting your news because you guys are, are um, just such a success story. You've got the, the nuts and bolts, the, um, uh, the great uh, data center specs and, and meeting room specs, uh, and you're attracting all the right folks to your space. Um, plus, like you said, location, location, location. It's, you're brewing the perfect storm, which we love. Um, so that begs the question, what is on the horizon for 1623? What does 2021 and beyond look like? Yeah, uh, so, you know, we have all those ingredients and, and things are happening, but we recognize that, you know, technology doesn't stand still. So we're, we love to push the envelope as far as uh, di different events and things that we're working on. So uh, we, we just announced um, and in March, there's a augmented reality challenge that's going to be happening in Omaha, between Omaha and Kansas City. Uh, so that'll be cool. The community ideation on different uh, issues and then solve those issues with uh, augmented and, and maybe virtual reality. And then we'll do some hackathons. So there'll be some, some cash prizes available. So that'll be fun. And then we're also working on a 5G lab um, in the facility, a carrier neutral 5G lab for um, software and hardware providers to, to test out what they're working on across multiple 5G providers. So that's an initiative that we're working on as well. And then, you know, just wrapping up the, the building improvements and, and having all that come online is, is super exciting. And then just continuing to build the ecosystem. So a lot, a lot of fun stuff going on. So fun, so innovative. AR challenge, the, the 5G lab. And I feel like it's a, they're great um, methods to also attract the younger generation into how cool our data center world is, you know, yeah. <laughs> which we need. Uh, so I just, I, I love where you guys are heading with this. It's, it's such a great story. We're looking forward to uh, further news from you guys throughout the year. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell me, where can our viewers go to learn more information? Sure. Um, so our website, our great website that JSA helped us with, it's amazing, uh, 1623farnham.com, um, or you can reach out to me directly if, you know, to discuss 1623, or if, if you're looking at a Midwest deployment, we've been here for a long time, and we know a lot of the fiber routes and, and different, you know, other network options, so happy to help however we can. And yes, viewers, remember that address, 1623farnham.com, a site to check out. Thank you, Greg, for joining us and for your time here today. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy thank networking. You.